Greetings, YouTube. Happy Sunday. Pull up some popcorn. Pull up a chair. I've got a story for you, old Prof Hoff story time. You may recognize the name of this summoner, Pep1000. He's an awesome dude, very charitable, supports several content creators with content and even sometimes super chats like Legacy and Katie Candy and myself and I'm sure countless others I have not seen before behind the scenes. And so I've been talking to him today as I like to do from time to time and he sent me a tale that uh, I think deserves a video because it's kind of the blessing and the curse of choosing two paths in this game. When a new champion comes out, it's far different than it used to be, right? Before Grandmaster featured crystals, before Uncollected was a thing, before uh, the Act 5 Chapter 2 requirement was out, you could guarantee yourself a new 5-star champ with the 20% drop rate that has now been confirmed with the Blade Crystals simply by hoarding thousands and thousands, even hundreds of thousands of 5-star shards for when the champion dropped. Now, you may only be 1 for 6 like me, but your chance of getting Blade is... I don't know, 80, 90%. It's not to say you can't see it happen. And we saw everything from someone going 4 for 5 for Blade and Blade Crystals to 0 for 12. But in general, Kabam caught on to this issue and decided quite brilliantly from a marketing perspective that they'd make a ton more money if they decided to not only change the featured 5-star requirements to where the champion wouldn't even be released, into the five-star featured crystal for several months after their release, but then afterward, they would most importantly have a 4.2% drop rate or a 1 out of 24 chance instead of, of course, a 20% chance. So you're cutting it by, I don't know, one-fifth about. And also that you would only get this champion if you had like a 0.42% chance in the new five-star featured Grandmaster Crystals, which cost a huge amount, 10 bucks per crystal or 300 units. So that's to say, you've got two options. You can pray to the RNG gods and spend, we've seen Crystal Opening Whale take four, five, even 600 of those crystals, which 600 times 10, that's $6,000 to get the five-star featured champ. Or you can quote-unquote guarantee yourself the champion if you get in the top 150 of the five-star featured arena which is what Pep1000 decided to do. So he sent across this video, and as you can see, put up a crazy win streak in the first round of the five-star Mr. Sinister featured arena. In fact, he put up 80 million points, and uh, he said he did this um, over the course of about 20 to 24 hours of time. So that is a full day's worth of work plus, of course, the units with the refreshes to get to 80 million. And so I will not bore you with the fights, but essentially, when you get to the end, you can see that um, he has 80 million points. Okay, so you go from 80 million points to part two of this video, which shows that he was ranked 35th with his 80 million. We know now that in round one of the arena... Uh, you needed 62 million to get in the top 150, so he did eclipse it by about 18 million. But uh, like so many people who got Mr. Sinister in round one, they were scared away from both fatigue and then overall probably boredom to not do round two, which is a shame because you can imagine his frustration when he found out that rank 150 in round two, Mr. Sinister, was a mere 20 million or one fourth of the score he put up in round one and really probably less than one-fourth of the time and certainly the units it takes to put up that score. He could have waited in round two and done in, I don't know, about five or six hours max what it took him to do in round one to get the champion. So he didn't go about awakening the champion via the arena because, quite frankly, he was burnt out and never wants to do that kind of day commitment in terms of hours to the arena ever again. So he decided what the heck. He would do the next best thing, which is to buy five of these crystals. Five of the Grandmaster featured crystals, the 0.04% drop rate. And just see if he can get Mr. Sinister the old-fashioned way by whaling out in units. And of course, buying five of these, or 1,500 units, takes 1,500 units, but it also takes about 10 seconds of time. 
And maybe it's because his name Pep kind of reminds me of the name Pop. They are the same amount of letters after all and only differ by a vowel, an E instead of an O. But he is, like me, on Team Pop. I think it's really fun to just pop crystals in general. Yes, I realize that the odds don't change and that once you purchase the crystal, it is determined. But it's less hurt on the heart. You have no chance for troll rollovers like I'm still haunted by with my invisible rollover of the Omega Red in the Dungeon Crystal. So, he bought souls, decided to open them up, and pop them. And what do you know, when he popped them, there's the guy he spent 24 hours trying to get. And it just took him 1,500 units. And because of that, he awakened him. What do you know? So... You know, I asked him, is there a lesson in this? And he said, well, it's kind of sad and it's also kind of funny. So I don't know if there is a lesson in this. It's kind of self-depreciation in terms of humor, so to speak. But I think it really is a a good screenshot of just what Kabam has made the stakes for trying to land the new 5 to Future Champion. We know this month, regardless of how you feel about the new skin or the, the new version of Captain Marvel... We know that Nick Fury not only looks amazing thanks to Otrix's data mining, but also he's a unique champion, and he's this month's Mr. Sinister, and I would imagine that a lot of people are going to be grinding for him in the arena, or Kabam's going to make a ton of money off Grandmaster Featured Crystals. Now, the good news about the new Grandmaster Featured Crystal drop rates is that you have five times the chance to get a five-star in general, even when you miss the Featured Champion, and so that 5% drop rate is fantastic, but it still is so much worse and forever will be so much worse than the 20% RNG for free just by hoarding thousands of units over days and months and even years to get that champion. So um, the arena, (laughs) poor Pep 1000, right? 24 hours of grinding, like 8,000 plus units worth of refreshes only to get the champion in 10 seconds or 1,500 units worth of popping those five crystals So, hey, man, part one, part two, part three, thanks for sending all the parts my way and kind of giving the community a fun little Sunday story for you. I always like to do these from time to time because it's something kind of different, you know? It's just a fun thing to talk about a summoner's experience, whether they're questing for a hunt for something or just trying to compare the difference between wasting away a whole day that you could have just waited until round two and and gotten the same person like six hours or just popping five crystals and being done with it. What an experience, Pep1000. Thanks again for sending this way, my friend. (laughs) I don't know what you're supposed to get out of this video, but uh, hey, hope you enjoyed it. Happy Sunday.